Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Dokkan Battle video, and today we are doing some World Tournament Summons. So, um, <clears throat> we're jumping in here, and I'm going to start on the Dragon Ball Banner, because the Dragon Ball Banner definitely, like, we do not have the luck on the Dragon Ball Banner. Usually on a World Tournament, if I get one SSR I need, I'm happy with it. Most World Tournaments, you can go through 10, 20 singles on here and just not get any SSR. so we'll see what happens. I know it takes some time. Um, the thing we're going to watch out for in this video is at the end, we're going to do our guaranteed SSR summons. Okay. Now, if you guys haven't watched my channel very long, uh, the last world tournament summons I did were absolutely atrocious on the guaranteed SSR banner. So the guaranteed SSR banner has a ton of stuff. I really, really want. It's got like Kale and Khalifla. Uh, it had like last time it had like high school Gohan on it. Um, just a bunch of units that I needed dupes for that. I really, really wanted. Right. Uh, when you do an SSR poll on that banner, it is literally a 50% chance to get a featured versus an unfeatured. Um, I did eight in a row that were unfeatured. And I, I and of course, most of the unfeatured stuff got, I already had rainbow. I didn't need it. And, or they were just garbage cards, right? So I was super salty about my last world tournament polls. So these polls better not go nearly as bad. I better be hitting a bunch of featured units this time because... I feel like the game the game basically owes me eight in a row because it's supposed to be a 50-50 shot. And right now we are at a 0% chance of getting featured based on what I got last time. So as we kind of go through these Dragon Ball summons, that's just something to keep in mind when I uh, get to my uh, SSR pulls. So hopefully my luck turns around in this video. There are definitely some big time units on this SSR banner I want to get. Because the thing is, is I'm not someone that... I don't crazy grind the world tournament. Like it's even to get like enough even to like just rank high enough to like rainbow the world tournament unit you've almost got to like no life the game over the weekend like you have to grind so much it's just insane um and i just don't have the time to do that especially during the school year um for those of you that don't know i'm a teacher and so during the school year i'm a lot busier um during the summer yes i'll sometimes grind a little bit harder on world tournament if i've got the extra time but it's just there's no way not to mention uh like this world tournament that we just did they, they, you know, do it over New Year's, sure. Do it over a holiday when people are busy and they're trying to do stuff with family. That's, like, totally the best time to do it, right? All right, here comes our first SSR in the Dragon Ball banner. Unless I had one earlier and didn't realize. Oh, and, of course, it's Android 8, who's the guy I pull, like, all the time on this banner. So I actually think that rainbows him for me, which is fine. But there's, like, literally three or four units I just don't have at all that I would much rather have. Like, almost the whole featured banner I, like, don't have. So... It would be nice to get something new here, um, but sure, I'll take a rainbow Android 8. Now, if I pull more Android 8, I'm going to be really upset about that, but, you know, whatever. But anyways, my philosophy with World Tournament is this, um, and what I recommend to most players that don't want to go crazy on it, just try to get to 30 mil, and um, just basically with 30 mil, you're going to get one copy of the World Tournament card, which I think is fine, and... Um, then you're going to also get a bunch of like Elder Kai's and like good rewards and stuff, right? All right, Tian, uh, Tian Shoutsu and Yamcha. So we got another SSR here. So the Dragon Ball side of things right now is looking pretty good. Just the fact that we're getting two SSRs is very, very good here. What do we got? Okay, nice, Anin. So that's one of the new ones I didn't have. So very, very excited to pull her. Um, don't know if I'm going to do, like, here's the thing. Normally I would do a showcase on some of these new units I'm getting. The problem is, is Dokkan is just unloading so many new units. Okay, Goten and Trunks. Back-to-back -back SSRs. We'll take that. So, yeah, the Dragon Ball summons now are, are kind of getting on fire here. We're getting our third SSR on the Dragon Ball banner. That's very nice. Um, what do you got? Oh, nice. That's like the new TN. I will totally take the new TN. That's awesome. Our, I shouldn't say he's new, but I think he newly awakens with this World Tournament. And his awakening is actually pretty good. So, I might... You know, so here's the thing. If I get time, I might do like little showcases on that TN and that Anin card. Um, the problem is, is Dokkan, what I was saying is they've unloaded so many new units during these celebrations, which I'm not complaining. I think it's great. I would rather there be like way too much for me to do videos on than there to be like a desert and nothing to do. Right. And the game, like when there's more content, it's so much more fun. So I, I'll take it. Um, but so like in JP and then now Global starting to get to like where JP is, where like every celebration, it's like, here's 10 easy A's. <laughs> it's like, 
you know, I want to do a video on all of them, but it takes a lot of time to do that. So, and obviously the new EZAs are going to take priority over like these older world tournament units or even like a newer Awakening World tournament unit. Like I got the new Nappa, like the team Nappa. I haven't done a video yet on him and who knows if I will or not. Um, basically, if we get to a point where I've done all the videos I want and there's like time in between, then I might go back and do some of these. Um, but yeah, it's kind of crazy because with Global, we're like on the 9th, which I think is just in a few days from when I'm recording this. Um, we're getting like all the Peppy Gal EZAs. And so that's like five units right there I want to do videos on. And then Majin Vegeta's EZA is somewhere in the mix and I need to do a video on that as well. So um, yeah, just a lot of fun stuff coming out. A lot of videos to do, right? All right, so our Dragon Ball Banner summons here are kind of cooling off a little bit, which is fine. Um, I'll, if, if I skate out of here with the three, that'll I'll definitely take that. Three units is fantastic. Um, okay, where are we at here? So we got what, three more summons on the Dragon Ball Banner? The one thing they really do need to change with the Dragon Ball banner is they just need to let you do multis. Like, going through this single summon by single summon is painful. Like, sometimes I get done with a world tournament and I, like, start to do my summons and I look at this and I just sigh. Because it's like, oh, I've got so many singles to do and it's so boring, right? Hopefully my commentary is helping a little bit because God knows this would be boring to watch. But I did get some good SSRs and I know we're going to be looking forward. For me, the main event here is when we get to that guaranteed SSR banner. Um, I'm really hoping to pull, just give me featured units. Like if I get featured units, I'm going to pull stuff I want. It's literally a 50, 50 shot every time. So we're going to keep a count you guys. Cause if I start pulling unfeatured again, we're going to con continue our count from eight unfeatured in a row. We're going to see how many times in a row we can lose a coin flip. Um, and I am not going to be surprised if we just double that eight up to 16 or however many I've got. I don't know. My luck has been atrocious. All right, here's the time. Let's do it. Uh, let's maybe take a quick peek at the banner. So yeah, that Android 17 is really good. Hits okay, but Kale and Khalifla, I really want. And then the Team Gohan are the Great Saiyan 2. I want some more of him as well. Um, Mighty Mask, I, I think if I get one more, I'll rainbow him, but he's honestly not good, so I don't really care. Um, so let's see. So first, of course, we start off with a not featured animation. It doesn't mean we can't get a featured, right? Any animation can be a featured, but it's less likely if we don't get an animation, right? All right, an unfeatured, a really old unit. I already have rainbowed. He's already wakened. He's really bad. <laughs> so we are at nine unfeatured in a row, continuing from last banner. Here's another not guaranteed featured animation, okay? Let's see how high we can bring my 50% unfeatured streak to here. Can you imagine if this was reversed and I was about to get like my 10th featured in a row? That would be awesome. That would be awesome. And AJ Cooler, guess what? I already have him rainbowed, old unit. Pulled him a bunch, I'm pretty sure, in that last video when I got all those unfeatured. Driving me crazy. All right, 10 in a row. Can we get 11? Goku so <laughs> Goku's riding in solo, so I think we're thinking maybe 11 unfeatured in a row. Can we get 11 unfeatured in a row? This is just going great. <laughs> Fantastic. Hey, 11 unfeatured in a row. Guess what? He's really old, and I have him rainbowed. Great. These are turning out great. This is why, like, okay, another possible unfeatured animation here. This is why um, people get so mad. Like, Truth, if you ever watch Truth, and he grinds the World Tournament so hard, you can understand why he gets so mad. Okay, Mighty Mask. Here's the thing. Mighty Mask actually is featured, but he's, like, the least one I wanted. But it's a new unit I can use. Got him rainbow. Hey, and now a featured animation. All right. So the streak is at 11. Now we're good to go. Now give me a bunch of features in a row, please. Really want Kale. Like, Tech Kale is probably the one I want the most. And then that Android 17 would probably be my second pick. Let's see what we got here. Hey, Tech Kale, there we go. Now my luck's turning around. That's the one I really, really wanted, right? Give me another featured and give me an Android 17 maybe. All right, 18 and Krillin. Now the game's paying me back a little bit. They're like, all right, we're going to give you some featured in a row. That's great. All right, uh, I'll take a 17. I'll take another Kale. Give me a Khalifla, something like that. What do we got? Oh, right. <laughs> all right, so I just say what I want now and I get it. That I like this. All right, give me another Kale. <laughs> if you're going to give me what I want, just give me another Kale, right? <laughs> or another Android 17, sure. Give me one of those. Those are actually the two I want the most. So if you give me another one of those, I'll take it, game. You owe me because you gave me so many unfeatured in a row. <laughs> All right, there you go, guys. <laughs> Uh, much better at the end. We definitely caught fire. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.